Hello everyone, welcome again and this is the third tutorial on Propedia, so uh, a web automation series. So uh, in this tutorial we are going to set up the project to start the automation with Propedia. In the last tutorial we have seen like how can we run the very first script uh, with uh, Propedia and we can take a screenshot of uh, uh, URL. So if we go to a little bit here and the scene will perform this example as a practical and the browser it's the you Propedia script is launch the browser and open the new page URL and navigate to this URL and take a screenshot and save it at our system. So in this, as I promised, I'm gonna set up a complete project for you. So here we are going to set up a complete project. So I create a, a folder Propedia tutorial at the um, desktop location and I just open the project folder here. So right now it's simply folder and the terminal is also clean. So we are going to start it from scratch. So what the first command we need to perform is npm init to start the project. It will ask some question to you like package name that we are going to leave it as it is in the version description. So yes, I can edit this question. This is a picture. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so entry point index or JS test command will write it later and author leave it as it is. Yes, so you can see the package just do this and is created now and the name and the versions and all things is there. Now, the second step we need to install the npm and mocha, uh, sorry, Puppetia and mocha and so for that we can use the command so also we'll provide the uh, this link in the description box so that you can read the complete documents and more uh, points about the Puppetia setup and the steps that we are going to follow so um, the first command that we have done is npm init and second command we need to install uh, some sort some libraries from the node so it's npm install Propedia Mocha and Chai. So I'm going to pass the command here. And <clears throat> it's processing and it will take some time. So because the Propedia is going to download the latest version of Chromium there. And the size of the file is around 140 MB. 140 or 150 MB. I don't know the exact size, but it, it will take some time to download and install. So you can see the node underscore models folder is created and now the library is going to set up in this uh, folder. So now <coughs> you can see it's so the file size is 144.6 MB and it's going to install, it's started to install. And now switch to our third step, so set up a run command. So to set up the run command, the very first thing we need a proper folder to run the project so we can set up a command to run uh, the test cases of the folder so let's create a folder under this uh, puppetia tutorial the root folder and click on this icon to create a folder and the folder name should be no we need the root size no, actually, we move the folder to the root location. So, okay, just click outside of this, right click, and create a new folder. So, it will be better. Okay, so it's create a folder test. So, under this test folder, whatever the test case we are going to write, so we'll keep it in this folder and we'll run this folder to as the execution command. So let it be installed and then we'll pass the run command for our test case. So I'm going to copy this. So the downloading is done and it will take a while. So okay, it's done. Now open the package.json file and you can check the script here. In this script, you find the test command, and right now it's echo error and something, so just change this string as a 
this now from the node we are going to search mocha uh, mocha is available on this part under the node module and mocha and bin and mocha are in the node modules and going to search for mocha 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 Yeah, somewhere. Okay, M is there. So you can see the mocha here. Under the mocha, you will find a bin and the bin again from the mocha. So it's looking for this compiler and set a timeout time of 30,000 30, seconds and slash dot slash test, it means complete folder of test. Okay, <clears throat> so the command is ready. Now, just save the file and switch to the steps so the next step is to create a folder test that we have already done and now we have to create a test case there so create another Java, uh, javascript file under this test folder it, it, it will contain our test case so i create a file example test.js and this is the file and in this file i'm going to write the proprietary code so we are in this also we are going to launch a simple browser and let's see how the thing work so i'm going to copy paste this code we i have already written the code and examples so i'm going to use this copy paste because to save the time so if you are new you can write it and you can practice it you will provide the link in the description box so you will get the complete notes on this on this example whatever the code we are going to perform here you will get in the description box or will um, provide the link <coughs> so you can go to link and just check the code there so <coughs> the code says uh, constant puppeteer equals to required puppeteer yes we need a puppeteer so i just import the puppeteer library here and then the describe describe this kind of suite box so under this we will uh, keep the test cases like test case 1, test case 2 and it is related to the uh, you can see the steps of test so <coughs> the you can see in the describe I perform the setup of test case mean the name of the suit and the home landing page so we are going to just launch the browser and if you notice I said headless as a fault and uh, uh, we can write some more code there. So, from mentor const page equals to await browser dot new page. So, we will create a new page there and Page don't go to and pass the URL. So let's pass an URL of. If I found some example, they will be passing the URL, then it will be good. So no, we are not passing here. Also. Okay, we are passing here. So this is a testing URL automationpractice.com so we are just going to pass this here so what this uh, script is going to do this is going to just execute open the browser and go to new page and uh, open a new page and go to this particular URL and in this case I say the headless is a false so it means that it's going to run the browser and you can see the browser now the most important thing how can we run this script okay so next step how can we run this to run this this we have one command one line command and this which is just move the down and it should be npm or node run <coughs> no it's not this okay npm run test so what is test test is our script let me show you the command so under the package.json you can see we pass a command to run this test folder as which is test so we said to npm so like no, 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 
change it go to move the command line npm run and pass the command test so <clears throat> this test command will call this test folder and going to run all the files in this folder so right now it is the only one folder so it's going to be done only one file you can see the run command is going to run and it's open the browser automationpractice.com slash index.php and website is there it's done we didn't close the browser so it's not going to close it you can see the test is passed it's from the passing and it's done and <clears throat> just close it manually and if you see i said uh, headless as a false if you want to remove this the by default nature is it's going to run as a headless so i can compare the time so let's compare the time so right now it took seven seconds and now this time we are going to run it as a headless mode let's see how much time it will take you can see the one second it means uh, it's, it's, it's just it's too fast it, it, it just takes one second to load and perform the testing so headless is awesome for but we we have to check the outputs and we want to check the output we just change it as a headless as a false so we can see our the activity our automation activity okay so just So it's passing and it's working fine. So let's make So the terminal is hang up. Uh, so that's it for this tutorial and the setup is done. And from uh, next tutorial, we'll use all the examples for the input fields, button, pop up, and all the things how can we handle in the puppeteer and the setup is done so this is the initial setup we'll do the complete uh, patch object model and other type of uh, framework in Propedia after complete the basic things that we are going to use so when we use the end-to-end -end login in some example then we create a, a proper setup and create object models and different classes to run uh, the complete suite so thank you for watching and please stay tuned